Well, so you guys signed a Def Jam. Yeah. You come out with Yo Bum Rush the Show. Yeah. And it ends up being Def Jam's lowest selling album to that date. Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, 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 the reason why it probably didn't sell high is because, you know, we were brand new, brand new on the mm -hmm. block. A lot of people didn't understand us and where we were coming from. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'll never forget the day, Vlad, when I used to sit around the radio with my tape recorder waiting for us to come on so I could tape that shit. You know what I'm saying? And one night, Mr. Magic was playing Public Enemy Number 1 on the radio. And I'm like, oh, man. Oh, this is dope, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really hearing me on the radio. This is crazy. Then going towards the end of the record, Mr. Magic says, we don't know who these guys are, but I guarantee you, we will have no more music by the suckers. Uh. He was dissing us, G. I'm like, oh, come on, man. I'm a big fan of Magic, too. And I'm like, how the fuck he going to diss us and shit? You know what I'm saying? The whole shit. So I said, okay, I'm going to diss this motherfucker back. God bless Mr. Magic. I know you're resting in peace now. And we did become good friends before he passed away. But anyway, I always say thank you, Mr. Magic, for a great record. I said, yeah, I'm going to diss your ass back. So I took his voice and I sampled that shit. And I put that shit on the beginning of cold lamping with flavor. So, well, the first album comes out. And okay. like I said, it doesn't do huge numbers. I know I took you kind of far. But then, okay. Well, but then Nation of Millions comes out and it just goes ballistic. When you guys made Nation of Millions, did you knew did you know what you had on your hands at that point? Honestly, not really. Cause all we were doing was just making records and shit, man. And you know, we knew that we was making some of the hottest records around. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. Um Honestly, I didn't know that it would be as big as it did get. And I ain't gonna lie, but I never really thought about it. The only thing I did was just make the records and be part of it. Well, I mean, that is such a, an all-time classic. Thank you. Classic album. Uh, and I remember uh, Night, of, Night of the Living Bassheads was such a creative, unbelievable video. Yeah. When we did make that video, we used real people that was really actually getting high. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, but we had to get them high for the video. <laughs> to give it that real, that real feel, that real look. You know what I'm saying? To give you reality. That's what we was about. Just giving, giving you reality, but on records. Well, you actually had a drug problem during the time I that sure that video did. was made. Was it a little strange doing an anti-crack song like Night of the Living Bassheads and actually behind closed doors you were actually on drugs yourself? Um, honestly, to tell you the truth, I didn't have no guilty feeling about it because I ain't going to lie. Around that time, yeah, man, I was going like 180 miles an hour, man, with that drug shit, with that coke and crack shit. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the worstest mistakes that I could have really ever made with them with my life. You know what I'm saying? Experimenting with drugs and shit. Let me tell you something, man. Drugs, them shits is real easy to get on and they're hard as hell to get off. You know what I'm saying? And if I would have known that back in those days, then I might, I don't think I would have experienced, I don't think I would have experimented with it. Um, I got to the point, I got to the point, Vlad, where I was spending like twenty-three dollars to $2,500 per day on coke and crack, per day. And I did that shit for six years straight, do the math. It's a lot of money, bro. And I ain't yeah. gonna lie, but um, I thank God 
I thank God that I'm still living today and be able to tell about it because now I could teach about it. You know, I could teach about the mistakes that I made and hopefully people won't make the same mistakes now and everything, you know. And I, I, I had a lot of people around me that were supposed to be my friends, but yet, you know, when I go to the bathroom or something, they would steal my shit and I would come back and my pile is like smaller. You know what I'm saying? I thank God for those thieving ass friends that I had because if it wasn't for them stealing my shit, maybe those could have been the hits that took me out. You know what I'm saying? So I did learn a lot from going through that. You know what I'm saying? And it was a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? I mean, being on drugs and took me away from my family. It had me it had me to where I was late for all of my gigs. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't give a fuck about you. That's one thing I can say about drugs. Drugs don't give a fuck about you, Holmes. You know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I'm saying? And Drugs is like a robot that we built to, you know, and, and we're supposed to be in control of this robot. But when the robot starts smacking you around, telling you what to fucking do, it's time to either destroy the robot or either reprogram it. And that's one thing that I didn't do. I didn't try to reprogram it. I didn't try to destroy it. I just let it do what it did to me. You know what I'm saying? And, and... And, and if anybody asks me to this day, would I want to do all of that over to not be on drugs? I tell them no. And the reason why is because it, 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 it gave me a big lesson in life. Not only that, but it also helped me to make me who I am today. You know, and, I, and the person that I am today, I wouldn't want to do anything over. You know, because I'm full of knowledge today. I'm full, I'm wise, and I can I can teach a lot now. So, a lot of that stuff that I went through on drugs right now, being that I'm clean today, you know what I'm saying, and I feel real good to be clean from that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now there's times I be around people, they sniffing coke and doing this and shit and doing that. Don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not stupid enough to stay around it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I was fucked up off of that shit for 18 years. So that means you're going through a dark ass tunnel for 18 years. Now, in order for you to get out of that tunnel, you got to turn around and come back 18 years. Mm. The same distance that it takes you to go there, it's going to take you that same amount of time for you to get back. You know what I'm saying? So now... I've been clean off of coke and crack now for about a good eight, eight and a half years. I still got another 10 to go before I could be back to where I was. So right now to this day, yes, addiction can still set into me. So that's why I'm smart enough not to fuck with that shit. Well, you guys drop uh, Nation of Millions, and it was it was huge. But then when Fear of a Black Planet came out, I felt like Public Enemy was the biggest group in the world at that time. Is that is that a fair assessment? Yes, yeah, fair. And and the thing that kind of held it back, we could have still been a lot bigger and a, and a lot more ahead of ourselves. But by me being on drugs, kind of hmm. kind of held us back a little bit too. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. Um, I ain't gonna lie, by me being on drugs, it helped because Chuck D and Fessa Griff and all of them is supposed to be anti-drugs, anti-smoking and all of this shit. But I'm the only one in the group that smoked, that drank, that partied. You know what I'm saying? Even though there were other members doing that shit too. I'm just not calling no names and I ain't trying to be a snitch or whatever, but everybody is not real. That's all I gotta say. You got real Muslims and you got fake ones. Mm. And in my group, there was a few fake ones, just to let you know. 
everybody wasn't real Muslim.